follow along and I'm going to show you how you can make these cute little succulent planters out of a cat food can. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need, of course, is a cat food can. I use these little fancy feast ones. I like the gold color of them. But there is a sharp edge on the inside, and you want to get rid of that. To do that, just take a piece of sandpaper, lay it on a flat surface, turn the can upside down, and rub it back and forth on top of the sandpaper. And after just a few short minutes, you'll see the inside starts to split because it's kind of a rolled over edge. And you can just pick that out with a screwdriver might have to wiggle it a little bit to do the final breakaway and then discard. Now I do still run a little bit of sandpaper across this just to make sure it's nice and smooth and as you can see it's nice and clean now. Go ahead and remove your label from the can. There is going to be a little bit of glue residue. Not important for this project but you could use some goof off or something. Goo gone to take that off if you're concerned about it. Next things you're going to need for this is a roll of twine. I use a number 21 and you're also going to need a hot glue gun as well. I just start by putting a little dab of hot glue under the top rim of the can and then place the start of the twine into that glue. Give it a little press down and make sure the glue uh, cools down and just go ahead and start winding the twine around the can. Now I give it a few wraps and then I just push it up to the top of the can. The can does have a nice little rim on the top so you can slide it up. Just be sure you're keeping the twine pulled nice and tight as you're wrapping this around. You don't want it loose and uh, sliding back and forth. You want it pretty tight on there. Now the last couple wraps you're going to have to kind of take your time with those. But then just go ahead and uh, hold it in place while you cut off the tail of this. You don't want it to loosen up. And then go ahead and put one last little drop of glue on the tail end piece there and press it in again make sure it's nice and cool and dried before you release it now it does look a little bit shaggy at this point with all these little twine strands hanging off of it so i just take a lighter and go around and just kind of singe them off they singe really easy and uh, make your way around the can and as you can see it takes on a nice clean smooth look here after it's finished don't forget to add some drainage holes. I just used a little finishing nail. You could use a drill as well. But just get some drain holes in the bottom of this can. Now that the drain holes are in, you can go ahead and add your soil and plant your succulents. I'm going to be using a few uh, starters that I did from leaf cuttings here. And so these are going to be kind of small to start with, but they should fill in nicely and I completely cover the top of the can eventually once they're grown in. Now you can go ahead and water them. I like to use a spray bottle but I'm going to give this a good soaking and make sure that my drain holes are working good and that the soil is draining away nicely here and as you can see when I pick up the can that the soil is draining nicely. I'll give you a little look at some of these that I planted a few weeks back just so you can get an idea. This is what they look like when they start to fill in a little bit better. Now you could leave these just the way they are. They look nice just like that, but I do like to put them on something, either a little block of wood that I stained up or something, or a coaster even looks nice. You can pair these up in multiple settings. They look great as well. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, please click the like button. And if you want to see more of my content, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.